Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Like I said in my last boob vlog, you guys would be getting another boob vlog very shortly. And the reason being is because I actually had my second and final consultation yesterday, uh, which was March 4th. I don't know when this is gonna go up, so I'm just saying I had my final consultation on March 4th and everything went really, really well. I actually set a date, it's gonna be in mid-April. And I am so excited that I actually have a date, I have a countdown, and I am I am so excited. I got a lot of questions about whether I'm gonna be vlogging the day of the surgery, after the surgery, and during my recovery. And the answer is yes, I've always had the intention of doing that. Of course, like the first day when I'm going into surgery, coming out of surgery, I'm gonna to have to depend a lot on the people who are gonna be around me. So they're gonna be vlogging since I probably will be out of it for a lot of the time. But in the morning I'll vlog, after surgery I'll have someone vlogging me, and then I will be vlogging. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like weekly updates or you know depending on when I first get it like daily um, I'm not exactly sure so let me know what you guys would prefer and if you have any ideas on how I should do my recovery vlog since I know that when I am looking up something like I watched a lot of recovery vlogs by someone like Shan or something I know she's really popular I just don't watch her videos I watch her boob videos I really appreciate those recovery videos just so you can get an idea of what you're gonna be going through I posted a picture on Instagram and asked for you guys to leave me some questions since I am this is probably gonna be my last boob vlog until surgery unless I do the do the one with my doctor you guys had good questions if I already answered your question I'm not gonna answer just for the sake of time let's just talk about the implant for a second my doctor actually gave me an implant to play around with this is a 400 cc high profile so this is a big boy and okay I think I'm gonna talk about what size I'm getting later on but I have this in my hand and I thought I would share does small boobs run in your family or is it just you I have to say that the only person in my family who really has bigger boobs is my Aunt Allison. Everyone else has smaller boobs. My mom has smaller boobs, my sister has smaller boobs, my family in Greece has smaller boobs, so I think it runs in my family. It definitely isn't just me. My mom had a breast augmentation, she has saline implants, and I want to do a video with my mom after my surgery because because she has saline, I'm getting silicone, so I'm going to do a video with her asking about her experience and stuff like that. My sister wants to get it when she's older, and I'm getting it, so it does run in the family. I got a lot of questions about breastfeeding and kids and someone wrote, I'm not sure if you plan on having kids. I do. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I kind of have a plan in my head that I want to be married by like 24, 25 and then kids ASAP. So um, like 26 or something. So yeah, I do obviously want to have kids. I talked a little bit about that in my first consultation video. Breastfeeding is really rarely affected by getting a breast augmentation and most of the time there are higher risks when you do like nipple incision which freaks me out and I'm not doing nipple incision. Obviously I want to breastfeed my future children not only because it's a good bonding experience with them but I, a lot of people say that it's better for them. I was not breastfed as a child and I think I turned out okay so I don't really, I'm not like oh got a breastfeed, got a breastfeed. If I couldn't I would be okay with it. I wouldn't be devastated. I'm not a mom yet so I, that's still a while away. Of course I've thought about my future children since I want to be a mommy so yeah I have thought about my future children but breastfeeding really shouldn't be an issue and it rarely is so I hope that answers that question. There aren't any age restrictions on certain types of breast augmentation in Canada. No, there's not. I know in the US there is a restriction on silicone, I believe until you're 22 years old. I don't really know why there's a restriction in the US. I know there is one, but there's no restriction here. And I swear there's like such weird restrictions in the States. Like you can own a gun pretty much anywhere and you can join the army, but you can't get silicone implants or buy alcohol. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to start on anything, but that's just my opinion. There aren't any age restrictions. You just have to be 18 unless you find a shady doctor. Would you ever see yourself getting bigger implants in the future or possibly removing them after a few years? I know a lot of people who get surgery always say they wanna go bigger. In my case, I am going a little bit bigger than I initially thought I was going. I'm the type of person where I know what works for my body and I want my body to be balanced and not be unproportionate. I can't see myself going any bigger than I am going. I should be a full C when everything is said and done. I don't see myself getting bigger implants. I don't see myself removing them either. I've really thought about this for literally years. I've saved all my money. I know I get a lot of questions about how I'm paying for it, um, and I'm gonna talk about that after I think there was a question. Silicone implants are supposed to last for like 20 years, so I'll be around 40. I'll have had my kids already. They'll probably be pretty much grown. I'll probably need a little lift and a little push up. So when the time comes that I need to replace them or get a little lift, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Are you nervous about the pain? What exactly do they do during the procedure? 
I'm gonna let my doctor answer the procedure question because I'm not 100% sure. I just know they're sticking an implant in my chest. I don't know all the details and everything. I am not that nervous for the pain. I obviously know that this is a painful surgery. I'm not getting my teeth cleaned or I'm not getting, you know, my eyebrows waxed. I know it's gonna be a painful procedure. They're putting these things in my chest that that are technically not supposed to be there. They're not naturally there. So um, I am, I'm not nervous about the pain. I have a pretty high pain tolerance when I know what's coming. I'm able to work through that in my mind. With that said, I'm not nervous for the pain. My mom said that it wasn't that painful. I've heard people say it is very painful. I think it depends a lot on the doctor, a lot on your own personal pain tolerance. I guess it just varies by person to person. So of course I've thought of the pain. I know it's gonna be painful. I know all of this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, can you show your before and after pictures? Yes, I am planning on getting those little pasties to put over my nipples. I hate nipples in general, but I'm gonna be getting those pasties so I can put them on before and you guys can see how truly little I am. And then I'm also gonna put them on after um, so you guys can see like my before and after. I'm totally okay with that. My mom was like, are you sure you wanna do that? I'm like, at this point, it's okay. So yeah, I will be doing a before and after picture but you won't see any nipple. How much does it cost and how long did you have to save up for this? I've been wanting to get mine done too, but I'm only 19 and don't make much. So I've been saving for a while, but I only got serious like in September of 2014. And basically my parents are not paying for the surgery. I know a lot of people are like, oh, mommy and daddy are just buying her boobs. No, I'm so proud of myself that I'm able to afford this at my age and able to pay for all this at my age. Basically, I did work. I've worked for my parents. I've worked for David's Tea. And then also, I do work. I hate saying work, but I do work on YouTube. And every paycheck I get, no matter where it's from, 90% went into savings. And then the remaining 10% like went to my credit card or went to my checking account. But 90% of it went into savings. And what I did at the bank is I went and I said, look, if I can take money out of my savings whenever I want, or transfer it whenever I want, I will. So I need you to make it hard for me. If I wanted to take money out of my savings account, I had to go to the bank and get them to take it out. I couldn't just take it out of an ATM. So that kind of really made me, like once I put it in my savings, it was in my savings. Unless I really needed it, I wouldn't go and take money out. I only really got serious about it in late 2014 and I was just saving and saving and saving. So that is how I saved it. And also, I mean, you're gonna have to make sacrifices. like. I wouldn't do certain things, I wouldn't buy certain things. I've had barely any hauls on my channel because I realized I'd rather save for something better than some little temporary thing. So I've just been really buying the essentials and things I really needed. So that is how I saved up for it. My parents are not paying for it and my dad actually, he came into my room last night and he said, I am so proud of you that you're able to do this for yourself. Obviously my dad doesn't want his little girl, you know, getting breast implants. He's like, you saved your money, this is, on, this is all your decision, no matter what you do we'll support you. And he was just proud that I was able to, you know, do this for myself and honestly, I am so proud of myself too. I find it even more rewarding and exciting at the fact that I'm able to pay for this myself than if I was just given them. I don't know. How do you think having boobs will change your confidence level? How do you deal with people who hate on it and make jokes? You are very lucky your friends are supportive. I'm getting mine done this month and I have very little support. I'm sorry you have very little support. It's really unfortunate that people have such a negative mindset about this, especially when it's your own body. So I don't, I'm a pretty confident person to begin with. If I wasn't able to afford the surgery, I would not put myself into debt over it. I wouldn't be upset. I wouldn't be unconfident. I'm a confident person now, as is. My main reason on wanting to get the surgery is just because I want to be able to wear what I want to wear. I want to be able to not have to spend like $70 on a push-up bikini top that doesn't even fit. I want to be able to wear backless dresses. Just, I want my body to be more proportionate. And so I don't think my confidence level will skyrocket. I think I might feel a little bit more womanly. That's what one of my subscribers who sent me an email said. She said she felt a lot more womanly after. I just feel like I will feel more proportionate and more like me. But I don't think my confidence level will go up that much since, I mean, so my friends will tell you, I am pretty confident in general. I am very, very lucky that I have such supportive friends, especially during this time. I have like all my friends who are like, I'm gonna visit you the day of, I'll spend the day with you, I'll like, you know, take you for walks, I'll give you a sponge bath. Like all my friends are so, so amazing and I'm so thankful, but I've had some people be like, I don't understand why you're doing this, I don't agree with it. What are you gonna do? It's not their body, it's not their money, and at the end of the day, if they're not, if they don't wanna do it, they don't have to do it. So 
just keep the people who are supporting you, you have your sister, just keep the people who are supporting you close and forget about the rest because who cares, you're gonna have these great boobs. Okay, so a little outfit change. Yesterday my camera died and I had to leave my house anyway. So I figured that I would just continue adding on to this video since I know I just uploaded a boob vlog like last Sunday. So I don't know when exactly this video is going to go up, obviously before my surgery. But I figure this way I can just keep adding questions as I get them into this q and I also took some questions from Tumblr, but I'm going to continue my questions on my Instagram right now. So I haven't been getting that many questions about nipples, thankfully, because nipples just really creep me out. I don't know what it is. I, it's just that one thing on our body is that really freak me out. So I got a question saying, I heard that sometimes the nipples lose sensitivity after implants. Even though there's only a slight chance of that happening, are you very afraid of that or is it not a big deal to me? It's not a big deal to me. I would not be devastated if my nipples were raw. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird, but if I'd lost sensitivity, the only thing I'm concerned about concerning the nipples is breastfeeding and I'm not even really that concerned about it. In terms of sensitivity, no, I'm not really, I'm not nervous at all. So I got a question about price and price does vary by where you live. The doctor that I first went to for my first consultation, he was over $2,000 more than what I'm paying with Dr. Sino. Um, I think around the $7,500 to $8,000 is the typical range of doctors. I'm, pay I'm paying around $7,800, $7,900. So it's just like, it just depends on where you are, the doctor you go to, just a bunch of different things. So definitely finding out price depending on where you are is definitely a good idea, but for me, mine is around 7900 when everything is said and done. Where is the doctor going to make the incision for the implants? Will they be under or over the muscle? So I got a comment saying that you can do under the arm um, insertion, I guess, using silicone, which I didn't think you could do. I asked my doctor and he said that you can only do that with implants 300 or even some doctors don't like to do it over 200 cc's and I'm going to be getting this is 400 cc's a high profile I'm going to be getting a 365 to 375 moderate profile so that isn't an option for me my two options were through the nipple and I think you guys all know how I feel about that or through I forget what it's called but the crease under your under your boob so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm just going to be doing it under the crease of my boobs and I am definitely going under the muscle uh, there's I was actually talking to Dr. Sino a lot about where the implant was going to go because you can go over the muscle, you can go under the muscle, and then you can do a dual plane, which is when it's under the muscle and the breast tissue. I'm not 100% clear on dual plane, but what my doctor said is that he's going to judge for himself once he gets you know into the operating room and see how much tissue I have and how much muscle I have. Um, dual plane is really popular right now. It looks really natural, so he's just going to do the best for me if I have a lot of muscle or, or under the muscle is best for me he's gonna do under the muscle if dual plane is best for me he's gonna do dual plane so but definitely under the muscle somewhat because I do not want to look like I have water balloons that's not the look I'm going for I'm very I'm going for a very natural look I got a question that says is your boyfriend excited uh, if you guys don't know my boyfriend and I actually broke up in January so I mean I'm sure he's happy for me because I've wanted it for so long. I have to say though, all the guys in my life, they don't understand why I'm getting it, which is a good feeling. You know, they're not just like interested in me or like want to be friends with me for bigger boobs. So, will you recover at home? Who will baby you? When I first told my dad I was getting my surgery, he was like, I'm going to book you a hotel. That way you can recover. And honestly, when I recover, I just want to recover at home. Of course, my mom will be amazing and she will probably be the one babying me. And then all my friends, like Sierra is going to come down, like stay with me basically. Like she's going to be there the day of my surgery so she's gonna be in the vlogs uh, most like all my friends who are close to me they've been like yeah I'm gonna come visit you I'll keep you company I'll bring you this I'll bring you that we can go on walks all my friends are supportive honestly if they're not supportive I just don't really want that type of energy in my life so my mom will be I guess the one baby ate me but I'm gonna try not to be too much of a baby because that can be a little bit annoying but I am gonna be recovering at home and I'm just really thankful and lucky that my friends and family are so supportive and so eager to help okay so now I'm gonna move into my tumblr question what profile did you decide on high moderate plus or moderate I believe we're gonna do moderate my doctor also ordered high 
profile. Um, so he's just going to see what's best for me in the surgery. I completely trust him. He knows the exact look I'm going for. So he's just going to have to, he has like, what are those called? Like they're fillers or testers or something. Because there's like, this is, I think, I don't think this is a real implant. I think this is just like the tester. So you can, like the tester is like $100 and then the actual implant is like $1,000. He ordered like a bunch of testers and a bunch of implants and I guess he'll just send back the implants that we don't use. I think it's going to be either moderate or high. I, I've never heard of moderate plus. Maybe it's a different type of implant. Just all depends on what looks good in my body. What are you most excited to wear after surgery? Bikinis, cute unlined bras, strapless dresses. I think if I got a boob job, I would never wear a bra. Ha ha ha. Pasties only since they are going to be perfect and round. I feel you. I'm probably going to be wearing pasties all summer. As you know, I don't have a lot of breast tissue to begin with, so mine are going to be pretty up and perky and, you know, ready to go. My doctor told me that I wouldn't even need to wear a bra um, like right after my surgery. So I will probably be wearing a lot of pasties. I don't know where to get those, so comment and let me know uh, where I can get those. But honestly, like the cute online bras or bralettes, I'm so excited to wear. Strapless dresses, backless dresses, just a bunch of dresses that I could never wear before because of my small boobs. I've already been ordering and receiving clothes that I have like with my boob job in mind. So I'm definitely excited for all that, but especially the bikinis. I'm so excited for the bikinis and just feeling so much more proportionate because I don't think you guys get how unproportionate I am, how flat I am, so I'm just so excited for all of that. Are you going through the inframary fold under the boob or what incision site are you getting? Are you worried about scarring at all? So I already answered what type of incision I'm getting, so I guess it's the inframary fold. I am not that worried about scarring, honestly. People worry a lot and, I mean, obviously I've thought about the scar, but the scar is about I think he said it's like two inches long um, or two centimeters long, something really, really small, maybe like four centimeters, two centimeters. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not the type of person who's going to walk around like at a topless beach. And so I'm not really worried about the scar. I'll take care of the scar, use the creams that I get, um, take care of it, but I'm not concerned or worried about that. So this one was a really good question. I was really um, impressed by this question. And it was, are you worried about gaining weight during recovery? I know it's going to be painful or difficult to work out for a month or two. Here's the thing, I don't really work out that much right now. <laughs> it's bad to say, and I, I, you know, I do squat every day, I do body weight exercises pretty much every day. I'm doing the squat challenge because I really want to, you know, lift up my booty. I try and do a little bit of abs every day, but I'm not an intense worker outer. For me, I'm not worried about gaining weight during my recovery because Honestly, for me, I gain weight when I lose control over my eating and when my eating habits start to slip. I haven't worked out that often recently, so and I haven't gained any weight. If anything, I've lost weight. So I'm not worried about gaining weight dur during recovery just for that fact. If I was used to working out really intense every day, then yeah, I would be a little concerned about gaining weight. But since I'm already like I'm not super super like into working out, I'm not that nervous. I'm just, when I get my surgery, it'll be mid-April, April 15th. It should be warmer. It's already starting to get warmer. I don't know if you guys can tell by the lighting, but it is starting to get sunnier every day. So April 15th should be pretty nice weather. I'll be able to go for walks with my friends who visit me. I mean, I can still squat, I guess. Like maybe not the first week or so, but I can still do my squat. So so thank you guys so much for watching this segment of my boob vlog Q&A. Let me know if you have any questions for me or for Dr. Sino, and I'll talk to you soon.